Hey guys, Ariel over here at Finest. Today I'm doing another appliance review and this time I'm going to cover my little fridge. Now a lot of tiny houses have the little, really little like apartment size or dorm size fridges um, that go fit like under a counter, but because I cook so much I knew I wanted a little more space than that. So I went with this model. Now I'm into my fourth year here in my tiny house and I am extremely happy with this one. I've got no complaints at all and it works really well for my situation. It's enough space that I can um, usually with no problem store everything I need, but it's not excess space for most of my use. So I'm not um, using extra energy to cool empty air. I know you could fill empty air with, um, you know, water jugs or something like that, but it's, it's a pretty good size that fits my needs. It does have a little separate freezer, which is nice because I like having a few frozen things here. And uh, the other big thing is that for being off-grid, it is not an automatically defrosting fridge. So when you look in the freezer here, you'll see I've got a little bit of ice crystals on the side. I think I've only cleaned that once in all the years I've been here. So it's not a big deal, but it's not going to auto defrost. And most modern fridges do. The reason that's a good thing if you have a limited amount of power is to auto defrost um, from my understanding, basically the way a fridge or freezer does that is every now and then on, on some schedule it actually kicks on some heat to melt any build up off the walls and then cools it back down. But that uses a, a big extra burst of electricity when it does that. So having one that I just do manually is perfectly alright with me. As you can see, I do have space here in my freezer for several things. It's got one shelf in there you could take out. Oh, I should have mentioned this fridge is electric. Some people ask if I have a propane powered fridge and I know there is propane ones out there. I thought about it when I moved into my place, but I was planning to do a solar setup anyway and I didn't want to have to buy that much extra propane. They do use a good bit compared to a lot of propane appliances and uh, because they're really well insulated, the walls and everything tend to be pretty thick and so you get a lot less usable space inside. So for several, and they're pretty expensive. Um, so for several reasons, I decided to go with an electric fridge. I was gonna have a solar setup anyway, so I wanted one that was a low power use, but that would, would work off of electricity. So that's the little um, freezer, the fridge part. Kind of hard to show you this without being in the way. Um, it's got great sturdy racks on the door. They hold, you know, things up to the size of a quart jar. I keep a lot of smaller jars and uh, that kind of thing on there. So that is a lot of storage. There is um, little crisper drawers down under here, which I do often use for veggies. Very easy to slide in and out and clean. Um, adjustable shelves. I guess it comes with four shelves, but many, many, many positions here where you could adjust them to work for you. And overall, just a, a good storage space. Now, as I mentioned, because of the not being an auto defrost, again, even in here on the back wall, I will get a few ice crystals. But I, again, I've only ever cleaned the, you know, defrosted the fridge like once in over three years now. So this works really well for me. Oh, it does have um, obviously a light, but it's also got a temperature adjuster here. It does only have one adjustment that controls the whole thing, so you can't change the freezer and fridge temperatures separately. But at least for me here, um, setting it right around the three setting seems to be perfect to keep things in the fridge, uh, fridge fr not frozen, and the freezer frozen plenty hard. So that works out really well. Um, the model is an Avanti, I forget the model number, I'll link it down below in the See More tab. Um, as appl new appliances go, it's not terribly expensive. I am really happy with it and it works excellent in my uh, tiny house setup here. Hope that helps you guys. Hope that helps you guys if you're looking for appliances for a small place, uh, tiny house, or possibly a um, limited power off-grid setup as well. Thanks for watching, folks. If you're interested in more info on my off-grid tiny house life, check out some of my other videos here. And if you like what you're seeing, click the little picture of my house to subscribe and then hit the little bell so YouTube actually notifies you every time there's a new video available. See y'all next time.